Hi, waterfowlers. I'm Sean Mann. We're going to tune an Eastern Shorty World Champion Goose Call. Okay, now we're going to tune a Shorty or Eastern Shorty, depending upon who you're talking to. I'm doing a clear one so you can see how things line up when we're finished. Again, the parts that go inside the call are the reed base, the wedge, and the reed. We've done a lot of different shapes of shorty reeds uh, over the years. I still like all of them. This is the reed shape that we've found works best for most people. So, again, I'm going to take the reed and figure out which way it wants to flex because these things are made out of uh, a material that they make in rolls. I buy it in flat sheet, but it always has a memory. So, once I figure out which way it wants to flex, I want to make sure that that's the way it wants to flex. I go all the way around the horn with it. This one wants to flex this way. With a shorty, you can put the reed either way. You can put it so it flexes this way, or if you want the call to blow a little lighter, flip it over and put it so it breaks, so it bends that way. So we'll start with this one with the flex that way, so it bends down. Now, all of my wedges have teeth on them. They're hard to see in this video, but there's two little teeth on this wedge. And, uh, and maybe you can see it a little better at this angle here. It's better on white. And the purpose of those teeth is to help you find the end of that reed base and be able to hold all the parts together. So we have parts all lined up and now putting it into the, the clear call, you can see how the teeth stop everything. All right. Now, I want to make sure that the end of the reed will drop into, and I'll do it with this, but it'll drop into the channel on the reed base, the trough. So with these calls, with the shorties, the more gap you have between the end of the reed here and this piece of plastic on the inside of the trough, the more gap you have, the clearer the call will sound, the less buzzy it will sound. Okay, so I'm, I've opened this one up a good little bit. I've just set the parts into place. I'm going to tighten them up a little bit. If you'll notice, my, my thumb is not even on the wedge. And I just snugged them up. That's all I did. I made them so that they are snug. I can't shake them out of the call. I don't like to over tighten the guts in my calls because it changes the shape of the plastic parts and changes the way the call sounds. Snug is all you need. You, know, you can make them a little more snug or a little less snug, but there's no need to use you know, a hammer or anything like that. And another thing you'll notice is with these teeth and all that, we never push our guts through the call to retune. That's why I do everything twisted. When I want to loosen things up, see, I twist. I can tighten it up again by twisting. I'm not even touching the wedge. I can push on the wedge if I want to, but I like using the teeth as a reference point to know that I'm up on the end of things until I have decided whether or not I want to lower the pitch of the call or raise the pitch of the call. So, parts are in place. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm not going to back pressure it. So that's that's clear. It's easy to blow and it's high in pitch. I'd have a hard time buzzing that call. Um, you can put a lot of voice into the call when it's like that. Now I still don't have my hand closed. I'm not back pressuring. Now, that's not my liking, but a lot of people love it that way. My personal preference, I like the reed flipped the other way so that it flexes this way because I like a little more resistance, and I like very little gap at the end of the, at the, end of the reed. So I like very little gap here. 
I like it almost to where when I'm pushing down on the reed, I can feel it touching the plastic because I like a raspy call. Um, guys who use their voices a lot or use their voices all the time don't tend to like a raspy call. But I believe, you know, you use your voice all the time. You're a single threat. You use your voice a little bit. You, lose, you use no voice at all. Um, and you use just the tip of your tongue to move the, the air. And you, now you're a triple threat. So anyway, so that call's got rasp built in. Now I can blow it clear. I can blow it raspy. Or I can put my voice in it if I want to. And then if I add my hands. There's a lot of different ways to operate that call. So, quick recap. I like to twist. and I got them in there pretty firm. But twist to loosen. See? And up against the teeth. See, I'm pushing the reed base in and it stops. So I know I'm up against the teeth. Reed just drops in. Snug it up with a twist and a push. But this call can be operated completely one-handed. So that's a shorty.